Next, we've got Anita Gowers from the Centre of Art History and Art Theory at the ANU College of Arts and Social Sciences. And the title of her three minute thesis is Putting the Frame Back in the Picture. This is an image of a picture frame. It isn't an Australian frame, but I know you've all seen this frame before. And I'm confident in guessing very few of you would be able to tell me what artwork this frame belongs to. And that makes sense because the role of the frame is to draw your eye to the artwork. It's not to be noticed. And Australian frames face an even greater hurdle of being noticed because our galleries, libraries and museums catalogue the artwork, but they don't catalogue the frame it surrounds. And often the artwork and the frame are separated. Consequently, our gallery, libraries and museums have racks and racks full of empty frames that no one knows anything about. In addition, in the early 19th century, attitudes to frames were different and artwork couldn't be hung or exhibited without a frame. And these frames were made by expert craftsmen. But today, often those same frames are discarded because their historical information and value is unknown or unrecorded. My PhD pieces together for the very first time the untold story of Australian frames and their impact on Australian art. To do this, I built a library of over 500 images of frames that I'd collected in 22 galleries, public and private, across four states. I've accessed primary source material in libraries and archives in Australia, France, America, England and Ireland. And I found the first convicts with the skill of carver and gilder listed as their profession. To manage all these data points, I implemented a database that allows me to search the relationships between the artist, the frame maker and the artwork, filling a vital gap in our understanding about the artist frame maker relationship and how the artist wanted their work displayed. This is important information for curators, private collectors and the public in understanding Australian materials. My PhD is important because although the frame may not be noticed, it's embedded with a wealth of information about the artwork that it surrounds. The frame broadens our understanding of Australian design trends. It uncovers an under-acknowledged field of skill and expert craftsmanship, and it provides insights into the artist's broad aesthetic vision for their work. Now let's return to our frame. We can see it's a similar surface area to the artwork. It's exquisitely hand carved, typical of the 16th century, and it's finished in gold leaf. So from the frame alone, we know it surrounds an important artwork. This frame surrounds the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> 